Certain fate.
Welcome everybody to Rune Terror Academy Extracurricular Activities uh, Playoffs Edition. Welcome to uh, Playoffs. I am here with Red and uh, Shogun 2077's jungler Tafiki. Uh, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, hey guys. I, uh, you know, this is my first time being in a VC with Tafiki. It's, uh, it's a lot less cringe than I thought it would be, I'm not going to lie. Yep. I thought there were going to be dogs barking, people screaming, but uh, not yet. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm actually thankful if it's six. So, you know. <laughs> That's fair. If it, was, if it was eight, then that'd be a different story. <laughs> All right. So for tonight's show, we will be going through the senior bracket uh, overview as well as the freshman bracket overview. And then the main event for tonight is the sophomore and junior draw show. Uh, which will be coming after this, and we will get further explanation into that in a about maybe 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. Uh, yeah. How you doing, Red? I'm doing wonderful. I'm doing wonderful. I've had such a great time this season, as you can tell. Definitely don't want to die. Yep. Um, but, you know, senior last night was... I mean, that was just a banger. If you weren't watching the senior series, like both of them back to back, I, you missed out on like such a fun night. Uh, you were there, PBS. You were watching. Yes, I was. Um, on uh, my 6% and... battery phone. Yes, that was a fun one. Yeah, it was sick. And then like the first two games of the Rada Makuma series were just them like running it down and then just seeing it was a coin flip on who would win. And I then... mean, <laughs> Akuma's it only was... win was a Garen <laughs> game, so. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. But it it was fun, and then uh, you know, Team Ambition Black MGM won all five games, which you know was kind of expected. But in the end, Team Ambition Black takes the W. So does Return of the Middle Sticks, and they'll be facing off in the finals, which um, you know I predict to be a banger. I know I know some people think like uh, the real finals was TAB versus MGM, but I, I don't think so. False. I think this one's going five games as well. All right, well, uh, we do actually, I do have the prediction sheets uh, updated if you wanted to look at them. I, I think brackets have been busted. I don't, I don't really know if we need No, to, like... I still got one left, dude. Okay, dude. I got right, TA Black winning it all, dude. All right, let's here's the red bracket, of course. Uh, yeah, uh, things kind of fell apart, <laughs> you know, when uh, Glue lost in the first round. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, so, and then from there, it was like, it's, it's, you know, it it just went off the rails. Let, let's be honest. Uh, you know, I wasn't expecting a mental boom out of uh, Sir Zepper, but uh, it 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 happened, and uh, now I'm 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 with the you know a dead bracket at this point. Yeah. It's a dead bracket. And if uh, we look at mine, I still got a live bracket. I still got TA Black winning it all in the finals, such as uh, I I can see that being a world where that happens. So. Uh... Yeah, I, I, I think, personally uh, think MGM was probably harder than ROTM is going to be. I think a lot of people think that, but uh, you know, Rodham's no joke. Everybody's been downing Rodham, and you know they just keep winning. So, uh, kind of weird that uh, you know no one has any mm -hmm. high expectations for them. But I, I, you know, they made it to finals, and uh, yeah, I mean, I think they'll give TAB a run for their money for sure. They could even get the dubs. Yeah, we'll see who uh, takes the W and gets that uh, sweet, I think it's $1,250 prize pool for first. A lot of money, okay? Let's yes, just and 800 that. for just second, say, so I mean, second place is un nuts. Just, just, you know, you got to hype it up. Like, it's a life-changing amount of money, you know? It can be for an orc, to be honest. It's going to lift them out of poverty. Uh, so, you know, whoever gets the W, even though TA and Rodham are giant orgs, <laughs> yeah. they don't really do that. <laughs> But yeah, I mean... They could, it's gonna, you know, it's a good chunk of money, let's just say that. But, uh, yeah. So, I mean, anger yesterday, last night, a lot of fun, uh, a lot of insane <laughs> banter in the senior chat after the games went a little off the rails, uh, but still pretty fun. And, uh, yeah, at the end, we'll see, uh, we'll see who wins, but it, I think we can move on to freshman now. Yeah, uh, we have Tafiki here, probably. The most knowledgeable about freshmen. Uh, I will bring up the bracket real quick. Uh, right there. So in the quarterfinals, we have Big Duck Entourage versus Crystal Cave Gaming. Uh, in the second match, we have Shogun 2077 and TD Shadow, a rematch of season two, exactly the same. Yep. 
Uh, exactly the same, just the, the seeds are swapped yep. this time. Uh, so. Third match, we have Zenigma Unknown versus Raw Enhanced. And in the fourth matchup, we have Infinite Solo Queue versus GSG Iota. Uh, yeah. I think, um, I think, actually, you know, this is my hot take, but I think we're going to see three upsets in the first round. Three? Three upsets that's in the first a, That's a bit much. I don't know. Okay, at least two. At least two. You know, I, 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 I'm taking it back because then I remember Rar had the uh, mental boom after uh, Friday. Uh-oh. So I, I, you know, I don't think they can beat Enigma, and I don't think CCG can beat BDE. But I think these two, three matchups are insanely close, like a lot closer than people give them credit for. Um, they're 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 just toss ups, honestly. I think uh, Infinite Solo Queue got a little bit exposed against BDE, and like people who follow their formula, can beat Infinite Solo Queue. The and thing then... is, is that well, okay, we saw that they had uh, we saw that they had a roster change. They switched their min jungle and. They've been hyping that up a lot recently. I know a lot of people uh, that I've seen, they kind of question this decision, but I don't know. I'll, I'm going to wait and see. Uh, but I'm putting my money on Infinite Solo Queue. I mean, if they're hyping this up as much as they think they are, this is definitely going to be a, a pretty scary team. Look, man. I got it. Okay, look. DSG Iota, I'm out here fighting for you, boys. Every week, I noticed it since, like, mid-season. Every week, people come on, and they just shit on Good Squad Gaming, and then Good Squad Gaming just keeps winning. So like, you know what? No, I'm going for GSG. I think I think they're gonna get the W. Boys, I, you got a, you got a fan over here. It's me, and uh, I think I mean that's that's gonna be one of the two upsets. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna walk myself all the way back. It's gonna be the only upset. Because okay. TD Shadow also <laughs> had like a mental breakdown recently too, didn't they? So yeah. like, it's looking kind of doomer for like a lot of the teams Wait, in here. You're not you're not saying that TD Shadow was like originally better than Shogun, are you? Well, I think they're better in the jungle by like a large margin. Jungle gap, as they say. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that you were think we're gonna, you thought like somehow CCG would pull out a like a a win against BD. No, you know that was that's actually the <laughs> largest gap I see. I I don't think I mean that is by far the hardest matchup for any. I I think it's like I wouldn't even tune into that game because I don't think CCG is gonna win one. Like, I, okay. I I regret coming on this now, <laughs> knowing that I'm just gonna be. Just <laughs> of course, I read that okay, game. Fun. <laughs> Uh, and I think I think this is an enigma unknown. Rar enhanced. I think Rar could steal a game, but it, it, in, in, in like at when everybody's playing at their best. But uh, I still think it's doomed. I think GSG and Infinite Solo Queue is a toss up in my mind. And then Shogun twenty seventy seven and TD Shadow was a toss up until TD Shadow had their whole like falling out thing. So uh, it, it's basically Jesus Juice V nine at this point. So if he can V nine. 2077 then they'll win but it's that's gonna be a hard task yeah i mean uh i've i'm definitely excited for this matchup uh, i've seen Jesus juice play very well over the regular season and i've kind of just been thinking in the back of my mind when am i gonna be able to play him because we played a couple times in scrims uh we went pretty even but this isn't when he was like god mode now you know we see the viego we see the cane coming up for him it's just you know i i've I, I haven't seen a, a jungler like this who can carry this well in a really long time in IBS. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, any other matchups you're interested in, Tupiki? Ah, uh, I think I think GSG and Infinite Solo Q, it's a toss-up. Zenigma is probably going to be uh, RAR unless they pull a massive uh, upset against them which would actually kind of be huge that'd be pretty entertaining to watch actually um shogun versus td again it's pretty t it's pretty toss-up but you know as you said jesus juice is pretty pretty much gonna have to 1v9 um and yeah bd versus ccg i'm saying bd is gonna win that no problem yeah, all right i don't think it is. <laughs> i don't think anybody would fight you on the bd pick uh considering <laughs> how dominant they've been all season so uh we don't quite have the matches scheduled yet but uh we're i'm hoping personally that we get either 2077 tds or infinite and gsg 
I think that's probably the most exciting matchups. The two versus threes. I think I think it's gonna be Sinigma versus Rar. Okay. I think was the plan. Uh only because Rar hasn't been streamed all season. Alright. Um as long as they're yeah. default time, we're good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think that was the plan. Um I think I think uh Mr. Mr. JC is trying to get in this call real quick. Let me move him up here. Yes. Uh, for sophomores. Hi, JC. How's it going? Oh, wait, that, that was a pleasant surprise. Welcome. I expect to you. Welcome. You're, you, you know, you're actually uh, the second guest for sophomore. Like, we were going to have Doki on, but I guess he bailed. So you're, you're on taking his spot. Sweet. Sweet. Big yes. shoes to fill. Big shoes to fill. I know. But, um,. Any final comments on freshmen before we move into the, you know, the main meat of this? Nope. I think, uh, I think that's pretty much it. It's, it's meat time, as uh, Red calls it. All right. All right, let me see. Yeah. Let me make sure I got this thing correct. Oh, so, uh, you know, guys, it, it's another PBS wheel moment. Yes, it so. is wheel time. Oh, my as God. we all love at Runeterra Academy. So, uh, so as you can see, fully what? empty bracket. Uh, yep. One, okay, right? You can explain. Oh, uh, Tafiki dipped. Yeah, yeah he's gone. Left. Bye, Tafiki. Uh, <laughs> so here's how it works. I explain the rules. And I'll explain them again. Uh, for the people who saw the initial announcement, it did get edited, but uh, you know, so it's just a clarification thing. Basically, first seats have to play fourth seats, and second seats have to play third seats. But you can't play a team from your group in the first or second round. So, um, basically, what, how we're going to do it is we're going to draw all the first seeds, place them into the bracket, and they'll go into these kind of subset uh, groups. And then we'll draw all the second seeds, and they'll be matched up with first seeds, and so on and so forth. And then we won't have to draw fourth seeds because once we've done the first three seeds, the four seeds will just slot in the right. respective groups. It might be a little difficult to understand at first, but once we get going... Yeah, yeah. once we'll it gets filled out, like, you'll understand it. You'll understand. Uh, but basically, we're making it so that like, if you're in Group 1, you cannot possibly face another Group 1 team until semifinals. Yes. Um, the ideal wow. situation. Yeah, so... You, you would have semifinals, ideally, if, everyone, if like, everything went chalk, so if all the first seeds went, semifinals would be... First seed from group one, first seed from group two, first seed from group three, first seed from group four. So that's how it's set up. That's an um, excellent explanation, Red. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I guess we could just start drawing. All right, so uh, I know spinning that wheel. I know Jason's gonna be excited for this first spin, uh, for no particular oh? reason, but uh, there is two team ambition teams as well as Fever and Sevilla Bitsa, uh, all the first seeds. Wow. Uh, yeah, you want to get it underway? First spin. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm hoping that both TA teams end up on the same side of the bracket. That's <laughs> that's the one thing that I'm hoping for. All right, nah, I hope you. Let's get a move. I on. hope you stub your toe or something. Like, why <laughs> did you say something so mean? Okay, in the first seed, going into the top half of the bracket, uh, the very top top is TA Gambit. Give us a little details on TA Gambit here, uh, AC. Well, you know, as their former head coach, now assistant coach, these guys are very, very good. They do have, you know, best player in the league about according to um, player rating, Dark, and are carried by Jungler. And, you know, he's a very solid player. Good good mid lane champion pool. Last season's season, um, you know, last season's um, Terror Academy sophomore winner. <clears throat> but um, you're a very good player. They also have finalists in Kaxi. They also have Yoey, they have Truck, they have Adam, you know, really well-known names, really good team. One thing that definitely is a kind of worry of mine is their inconsistency. Sometimes, like, for some reason, they just love to go to three games. Gotcha. And uh, as, uh, you know, PVS got a little impatient, just wanted to spin the wheel again. Yes. So, Fever drawn in the same side as TA Gambit, which means TA Revolution does go to the other side of the bracket. Uh, what are your thoughts on Fever? Well... Honestly, I think I think the hype around Fever is a little bit overrated. Obviously, you know, they have very solid players, Stubby, Gordon, Aorda, Akina, Firestreaks, you know, all great players in their own respective roles. But I think, you know, considering that their group wasn't, you know, the strongest in my opinion out of relative strength, it, it's expected they should be there. And I think um 
you know, I'm not surprised to see them drawn there. And I think, you know, playoffs is going to be where we actually get to see how they play. All right. Great, great, great. All right. Spin time. Third. Yep. Spinning again. And we got CB Ibiza taking up the first, first seed slot in the bottom half of the bracket. And obviously, TA Revolution taking the last one. You got to spin it, though. So, yes, of course. Um, CB Ibiza and TA Revolution, give us your thoughts. All right, well, I mean, CV Ibiza, you know, team full of my children. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> aside from that, you know, CV Ibiza, absolutely star-studded team, you know, like, you know, top talent player in every single role that, you know, they have. They did drop that Series 2 clown game in Gotham, which, you know, if you think about what they were talking about at the start of the season, how they go perfect, you know, it's a little bit of a oopsie there, but I expect them to basically barrel their way to semifinals and meet TA Revolution, which, you know, just so happens to be my team. Very cool. Oh, okay. And... Well, what? I don't even get to talk about TA Revolution? Okay, go, ahead, like... go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Look, with I'll, TA I'll Revolution, you know, some familiar names again from that from a certain preseason league, but um, you know the team was honestly struggling until I joined, or at least like you know they dropped the uh, game, dropped the series yeah. to Island Boys and stuff, yeah. and there was a little bit of inconsistencies. But I think uh -huh. like since I joined, there's yeah. like just been a general like <laughs> higher standard. You know, DDs uh -huh. literally become the best AD carry in the league. I think right. you know Revolution, yeah, I'm really okay. great jungler and corny. Finally, PBS, you can go to the second seed. Like, nah, but talking. like, you just, you just don't want me to speak about my own team at once. Like, they have a super talented support. You know, her last words, role swapping, and honestly, I expect. I think for all seed one teams, they're gonna make it to semis. I think that's how I think about it. Okay. At least all right. four, if not three. All right, spend time. Okay, and we're gonna spin our second seeds here. And the first one drawn is Imperial Gaming. So Imperial Gaming will be in the same uh, kind of quarterfinals match as TA Gambit. So potential now, quarterfinals match up there. How are you feeling about Imperial Gaming? They're yeah, in Imperial your group, right? Gaming, now, unironically, if you think about Imperial Gaming, they, lo they lost to TA Revolution. And in um, Aegis, they also lost to TA Gambit. So it's going to be really interesting, you know, how that whole dynamic works. Because, you know, in the regular season, they did do well until they, you know, dropped that series to Raw, which meant that you know Revolution was able to finish first in the, was able to finish first. So you know, thank you Raw, thank you Doki. But um, you know, they've they've been faltering as of late. They haven't had as dominant of a start. They haven't ended the season as dominantly as they started it off. So eyes will be on them to make sure that you know they can get through this first round kind of worry free for now. Okay. All right. Second spin. Okay, yes, let's go. EGG going to be in the same group as Fever. Now, CGG, you know, one of the teams that I know relatively little about, but, you know, personally, I'm happy to see them on the other side of the bracket. You know, Potato Tomato, Batman, and Deuce, these are all great players. And, you know, the fact that their, pos their possible quarterfinal matchup will be the side of Fever is, is going to be a great brawl between those two teams. You know, they were the only team to be able to take the series off of Ibiza. Granted that, you know, I don't know what was going on in the Beezus head, but the fact mm -hmm. that they were able to do it and the fact that, you know, they have really strong players, they have really strong top laner, AD carry is solid. Like, they're definitely, you know, first seed quality. Okay. All right. Third now spin. for the third spin of the second seeds, we have TD Harmony, which will be in the same sub bracket as CBI, CB Ibiza. Yeah, so TD Harmony, I, I know like relatively little about, but you know, granted they did finish second in um, you know Group Four, and you know, considering that there have been two competitive rulings and Group Four in general, you know, they had powerhouse teams like TA Gambit and Pink Sprouts, definitely had like a, a, a debatable level of um, you know difficulty and challenge. So I'm excited to see how they do, especially considering that they didn't have as much to show for in Group Four. Right, and would you like to touch on TT Passion being in the same? Sub bracket is you. Yeah, so I I think like I, I don't know much about TT Passion either. Um, you know, they do have my boy Chess E, I play Fall Guys with, kinda griefed me that one time. But um, you know, I'm I'm kind of no expectations going into it because I really don't know much about them. Like they're the one team that I haven't had to be able to kinda pay attention to. But the fact that they had, they did manage to finish second in you know what I seem is a relatively like easy kind of group here means that you know there'll be an interesting matchup to come across if we see them in quarters okay 
Sick. How are you feeling about this whole bracket right now? I mean, What's right, the easier side of the bracket, let's be honest? I, it has to be that top side. I mean, I think, like, the fact that both CV, Aviza, and TA Revolution in the bottom half is really tragic because that means I have to... I have to do it to my boy Kitan in semifinals again. But, um, you know, that's definitely... I think the bottom side is definitely, you know, group of death for every other team that isn't Revolution or Ibiza. And I think the top mm. side, you know, there's there's places where, you know, you could take off games hypothetically. I could see Imperial losing out. I can maybe see Clown Gaming losing out as well. But uh, that's kind of how I feel about it. It's definitely, you know, more favor for the first seeds in the bottom half. You know, for the top half, there's a bit more variation. Okay, let's figure out our first matchups, starting with this third seed pool. The first one... You mean third seed pool? Yeah, the third... Yeah, 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 something like that. Literal Monkey's Water. And Monkey's Water will slot in against Imperial Gaming. Mm. Right. How do you feel about this team? I mean, I look like looking at it, you know, they do have Chinese Spy who was, you know, with us in RA last semester as well. Um, you know, they do have a couple of new names as well in there. Like, I... I don't, uh, it, it's it's difficult because I don't know the most about this team because there's just names that I don't recognize. But based on, you know, how they did finish off the, um, you know, split, they did finish off four and three. And, you know, they did pick up quite a lot of losses as well along on the, along the ways of that. So it's going to be a little bit shaky and I'm, I'm favoring Imperial here. Okay. All right. Second round. Yep. Uh, if, if you're keeping up at home, this is actually... All the matchups have been determined, but we're going to spin anyway. So, Rar Coin Flip, which will be sliding into... Um, against TD Harmony. Based on the available teams remaining. Wait, isn't it TA Gambit? Oh, no, they're third. Never no, no, this is third seeds, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so Rar's coin flip, you know, greatest team on the planet. Thank you, Doki, for letting TA Revolution finish second, uh, first. Um, I mean, it, it's like this roster is just the biggest enigma known to man. Like you could have you could have this team like you know pop off in two zero Imperial, or you could have Doki take you know Barrier Ignite. It, it, it depends on what Rar roster wants to show up on that day of playoffs to see how far they want to go. And what what Rar roster is going to show up for playoffs? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and we have uh our got him, uh reformed it'll be sliding in against tt passion Ooh. Oh, at the bottom of the bracket yeah yep our means... reformed, i mean yeah pretty cool um you know, i love their logo um you know they have you know they have a team that was able to take a game off of abiza and the fact that you know people off of abiza go like you know sing, brushing their laurels about all over the place saying that earth is a good team to contend with means that I think TT Passion will kind of have a challenge here. I think there was like you know talks about how Ergotum were like the one team that you don't want to draw out of the, like the third seed teams. So TT Passion definitely will have a decent amount on their plate because if you look at match record, you know five and two and four and three, that's a that's a one game difference splitting the two. If right. anything, their win rate is the exact same. They both have eleven and seven games. Right, and uh, yeah, that is kind of crazy. But the last team getting drawn. The Enigma uh, inf Infinite? Infinity. Infinity? Uh, they'll be going up against Clown Gaming Gotham in the first round. Yeah, one sec, yeah, just updating the bracket. It's Enigma Infinity, you know, they were part of that Group 4 ordeal. And if there's one thing about Group 4 is that, you know, like, you, you do have a lot of the numbers being impacted. You have those two comp rulings coming in. You also have a relatively weaker group in terms of perception of strength. So, again, like, I'm not fully sold on how well Zenigma, Inf Zenigma Infinity can perform, but you know maybe they can prove me wrong, and it'll, it'll be difficult, especially against Clown Ga Gaming Gotham. Yep, I'm just double checking uh, TDS is uh, not TD PVS is yes. Yes. here. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, and yeah, you're on per you're on point. So for those following at home, uh, you can determine what the fourth seeds are that have to slot in here. Uh, I don't know if you want to like do a wheel while you work in the background, PBS, or if sure. I can just announce them. You can just announce uh, them, to be honest. All right, so TA Gambit will be going up against EDE Ravens. Ooh. Uh, any thoughts on that, JC? 
uh, let's see, BD Ravens are group two team. Let me look at their roster real quick. You gotta, you gotta buy, you gotta buy time while PBS updates look bright. Yeah, yeah. All right, I got this. I'm an expert. Yeah. Wait, where's BD? Uh, where, where are they? It's group one roster. They're group what roster? They're a group two roster. Oh, there they are. They're the first one. Okay, I mean, if Patrick Jane, um, you know, their team is, you know, I, I again, like, I don't know, I don't know everyone, so it's my bad, but, you know, the fact that, you know, they are here. It's definitely it's gonna be a challenge. You know, TA Gambit are undefeated for a reason. They're undefeated in both leagues, I believe. And you know, I'm really just I'm looking forward to see how like, you know, TA Gambit if they want to make sure like make themselves look serious, this is probably the series where they say, okay, we gotta like you know dominate against BD Ravens like three o. Mm -hmm. Is, is mm -hmm. it best of five or three? They're best of fives. All oh, the way you're down. so cringe, Red. How late do I <laughs> want to go to bed? Very late. Like, this is a mental test, guys. This is four weeks of like ment mental uh, <laughs> training. If you yeah, can't make but... it, you don't deserve the championship. It's a lot yeah. of money, dude. Come on. I mean, T Gambit, you know, seven no fourteen and one. BD Ravens nine and six four and three. Like, there's gonna be a level. There's gonna be a degree of challenge here, which you know, I think if there's a, I think if there's a first seed team that has the potential to drop games, it would be T Gambit. I'm not saying drop a series, but drop games for sure. But you. Wait, weren't you just shit talking fever earlier? Yeah. Oh, okay, so but they I just they wait, won't wait till I get to fever. Oh, okay, okay. All right. <laughs> I mean, you said if it was one, I mean, it sounds like there's probably two. But speaking of fever, fever will be matching up against Nameless Asylum in the first round. Oh, well, as much as I want to shit talk fever, like Nameless Asylum kind of suck. Like I, Whoa, I, I, okay. I like. I, like I, I first time Tom Kench uh, into Nameless Asylum, and then I, I performed really well on it. Like I think you know they're not a bad team by any means, but if I purely think about the lane by lane matchup, I don't think Nameless Asylum will have a fun time. Cause uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I kind of agree. Uh, they do have a very clean record of just two O's and O twos. Uh, you know, oh well, they they and then they had the one series at the end, but yeah, it, they have bounced. Like they were looking kind of weak, but they've kind of proven that they're like not a complete slouch of a team. Um, but Fever asking them to beat Fever is a really big ask. It really is. So yeah, uh, yeah, I, I definitely agree with you there. And moving on to the bottom half of the bracket, we have CB Ibiza up against Collective Calamity. Now, if there's any one four matchups that's going to be a banger, it might be this one, because if Collective Calamity is playing at their top top level, they might take a game or two off a of CBP. <laughs> I, I don't think they can beat them though. I, I don't I don't think there's a world where CBP is a loser still. I okay. As crazy as it sounds, if there is a team that would beat CB Lisa out of the four C teams, it would be Collective Calamity. You know, like they they stole my top twenty player rating, so I'm kind of upset about that. Yeah. Oh wait, 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 wait! I'm twelfth. Well, I'm eleventh. I'm, I'm the best. Okay. Anyways. Okay. Like right. I think you know Travis, re pretty like really good. You know the bully, really good. Feathers and fur, Cooper. It's all really good players. Like you you don't you don't hear those names and say oh yeah they suck. Yeah, so exactly. I think they have the they have they have the potential, but they just they need to show up. Like if there's a series that they have to show up, it's up against Ibiza. It's also here's the thing. Here's the dangerous thing. Okay, C Collective Calamity just did a, like a bunch of role swaps. Yeah, exactly, right? exactly. And, and they they just beat Monkey Water 2-0. So like, this team is dangerous because you don't really know much about them in their new roles, like how they play, and then they come out and beat Monkey Water 2-0. Um, like yeah. I don't know. I mean, like, yeah, you definitely don't want to like sleep on them, for sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's I it's yeah. yeah. I don't think Ibiza is gonna have like you know their first round farm stats like they get to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, you know, I think actually CB Ibiza would be more chilling in the quarterfinals matchup than their round of sixteen matchup. That's my hot take. Like whoever they play in quarterfinals might actually be easier than CC. Yeah, that that's but actually I think Roar could be an issue as well if they win. Not sure yeah. about TE Army, but oh, it looks like we got TA Revolution got Legion Gaming. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I process yeah, they We're gonna three O them. Okay, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I don't know what to say. 
<laughs> like, uh, like the regular season. How, how they do regular season? Like they, they came fourth in group four. Like, wait, what do you want me to say, here, Ed? You know what? Uh, it I could just, be you know, good. Be a little more cordial about it, maybe. I don't know. Like, uh, <laughs> okay, I got, I got it. I think yeah, Legion yeah. Gaming, you know, they did manage to finish out fourth in their group. You know, they did pick up a couple of wins. Granted that two of them were FF wins and the other two were probably against Pink Sprouts and Wash U. So, yeah. you know, like, I'm running out of politically correct things to say, Red. Like, it's okay. It's okay. Here's what I want you to do now that we have you in here. Yeah. I, I think you've made it clear that you're going to finals. I want you to predict your matchup in every round all the way up to finals. Okay. Like, who you know will what? you be playing against? All right. So... All right, so for Revolution, I think in quarters, we're going to be up against um, TT Passion. I think in semis, we're going to be up to, up up against CV Ibiza. I think the real finals is going to be the CV Ibiza TA Revolution finals. I think whoever wins that will win in finals, by the way. I think, uh, you know, I'm just going to predict the rest of it as well. I think CV Ibiza will probably go up against RAR and then us in semis. Um, mm -hmm. Clown Gaming will go up against Fever in quarters. Gambit will go up against Imperial. Um, I will. I do think there's a possibility that Gambit go up against Clown Gaming in semis, and I think the winner. And then it's gonna be what Clown Gaming. So it's gonna be Gambit, Clown Gaming slash Fever, and then Ibiza Revolution are my top four choices. Okay. Okay. And on that note, we will publish this sophomore bracket for everyone to see. So I already put it up on Twitter. Hey, yeah, Gambit it coach though. You kind of cute. Okay. Shout out to Shane. Twitch.tv, Twitch. Twitch. uh, Twitter slash uh, Runeterra Cad. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. We kind of descended into chaos. I'll also post it into the uh, spreadsheet probably yes. like later today. Um, but yeah, here's our first round. Banger, early predictions. You know what? I got to do it for my boy Prots, okay? It's a TA finals. I'm calling it now. Just, just to, no, I gotta Rick, predict. You're gonna curse us for what reason? Shut up. That's exactly why I'm doing it, dude. Like, what? <laughs> anyway, you, you, you better make sure the software. You better make sure the software street matches the Biza Revolution, by the way, on semis. Uh, like, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. you're trolling. I mean, the, if you don't do that. The top half of the bracket is like snooze fest, right? So like. Why yeah, no one cares about top half. Like things? you literally just cut away the top half and you can just call it round of eight. In the bottom. <laughs> All right, that's a bit deep. <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, also, I was told uh, we have to call you cringe, JC. But now that we're moving on from sophomore into junior, we have our guest, the man, the myth, the Iceborne legend himself, Carrot. Hello, Carrot. How's it going? Hello. I'm just chilling, watching the draw show, having a good time. Sick, sick. And, uh, you know, your team, I, I gotta say, a little bit of a lucker dogs. A little bit of lucker dogs to get second seed in that group. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but here you are, standing like, uh, you know, you got like your last three weeks uh, in the group were kind of just like bye weeks for you. Yeah. And much. now you're sitting here in second second seed. Uh, three bye weeks, still couldn't beat Kronos. Uh, and um, how are you feeling about the season so far? Bye, JC. Sorry. Sorry you left us. Uh, <laughs> so far it's been really fun really fun season a lot of teams a lot of good teams too i do still think division three has is the strongest division we probably have the top three teams in the league you know top three <laughs> oh, okay <laughs> I d and you used to have the top four right <laughs> uh yeah 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 we can say that <laughs> okay 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 <laughs> uh all right so, uh, if you weren't here before, you know, the way it works is we're going to spin each wheel, and each wheel will have all, of, like, the first seeds will be one wheel, the second seeds will be one wheel, third seeds will be one wheel, and the fourth seeds will just slot into where they're supposed to go. And how it yeah. works is you can't play someone from your group until semifinals. So, yeah. if you look at those top four to be determined, that will have a team from each group in it. Uh, and okay. then so on and so forth. So... Uh, yes, we'll do predictions, uh, but let's start with the junior seed ones. Correct. Empty Kronos. Both so dog a, teams. Yes, just as a disclaimer here, doors. Epsilon is dark blue, Sigma is light blue. Yeah, exactly. 
Yes. All right. Uh, Y'all ready for uh, Junior? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, let's get it. Go. The very first first seed. Oh, of course. OMT Kronos oh, from Group 3. How about... Tell us about OMT Kronos there, uh, Jared. Very I think OMT Kronos... Yeah, I think OMT Kronos is still probably the favorites to win the whole thing. They have really... Just really solid players overall, a really strong individual players. And I think they've been playing together for so long that they're definitely favorites to win it all. Right, and I never miss an opportunity to point out that OMTC dropped one series because Hirsch was playing top yeah. and he fucking read it like a dog, dude. What was that, Hirsch? <laughs> Jesus, he ruined the perfect season. Anyway, the second first seed to get drawn is oh no dude Ouroboros oh. gaming which means both Dorado teams are in the bottom half of the bracket hey that correct is, that is that's tough that's tough so for there will be no Dorado gaming's finals <laughs> uh only semi-finals if the, if it ends up shaking that way yeah Dorado uh Sigma Epsilon did hit the same side but Ouroboros gaming from group two uh this is the team that they're calling uh pretenders uh yeah. the pretend uh group uh the first seeds what are your thoughts on that i i do agree that Ouroboros is well to me like to consider a team in the top four a, a top four team is basically deserving of first seed most of the time and i think Ouroboros, out of all the first seed is not in the top four I don't even know if they're in top eight in my list. Okay. Maybe maybe they come in as eighth place, seventh place, but I definitely think like, who knows? Maybe a fourth seed might upset them in like group four or something. So if you're a fourth seed, you want Ouroboros. That's yeah, what you're saying. for sure, for sure. Okay, and then for the top half of the bottom bracket, oh, we Sigma. have Sigma, okay. and then of course Epsilon filing into that last spot. Uh, how do you feel about these Dorado teams? You know, they make they make banter quite a banger. But, uh, yeah. you know, Dorado Gaming, Sigma kind of been on top all season. And then Epsilon kind of sneaking in uh, the first seed on Group 4 right, at the, right in the last week. What are your thoughts on this team? Uh, I do think Epsilon is still the better team out of the two. Just based on me watching their games and players I've played with. Uh, I think the only thing that would stop Epsilon from winning would be their ADC getting ganked in real life and having to not be able or not being able to play. But overall, mm -hmm. I think this team is better than Sigma. I think Sigma, I have the same sentiment like for Ouroboros. I wouldn't say they're as like bad as Ouroboros, but I don't think they're a top four team in the league. But they're definitely still a team to be afraid of for sure. Okay. Okay. All right. And, one and for both, you, you touched on both Dorado teams. Yeah, I think Sig. I think yeah. Like I said, I think Epsilon is favorites unless you know some unfortunate events happen. I would rather play Sigma if we would to face them in quarters or anything. But mm -hmm. yeah, that is my opinions on both of these teams. It's okay. Uh, Dorado uh, Zol. Just so you know, I put you guys on the same side of the bracket, so I didn't have to pay you guys as much money. Um, <laughs> <laughs> when you guys end up in finals. All right, but uh, that's the first seed handled. Uh, PBS, you know what to do. Second yep. seed time. Spin time. <laughs> <laughs> and we have Virtue Gaming Grit sliding in into the same sub bracket as OMTC for the second seed. So potential VGG versus OMTC quarterfinal matchup. How do you feel about Virtue Gaming Grit? Uh, I know they had an ADC roster change, so I'm not too sure about how good their ADC is. But I still think VGG is a good team. Kind of unfortunate that they have to draw OMT in the second round. They're probably mm -hmm. gonna get like 3 out by OMT. But I don't think any third seed is able to beat them. So they should make it pass, uh, unless, unless they draw no org, of course. But I think they should make it round. Make it past first round pretty easily. Well, they can't. They can't draw no org. 
really? because uh because OMTC is already in that sub. Oh, right? okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Then, so they, they dodge yeah, they, that. Yeah, they'll, they'll make it through first round pretty easily then. Very cool. And then next second seed is oh, Nameless Dang. Empire, which cannot go in the same up sub bracket as OBG, so they'll be sliding in with Dorado Gaming Sigma. Right. This second seed out of group two. You already told us about the first seed yeah. in group two. <laughs> I so don't you think... think this team is probably double yeah. dog, right? They they might lose to every third seed in the tournament to be honest. I, I don't have much info on them, but just based on the other third seeds in the other divisions, I do not think they'll they'll have a tough time for sure in the first round. Okay. I... Okay. So Last two draws here. Ice, Born, okay. Legends, and then who's the other one? BBU Mesh. So let me just double check. And no issues here. Yes. So Ice Born will slide right into, um, right into the same sub bracket as Ouroboros Gaming. So that's uh, that's okay. pretty pop for you considering nice. that you didn't you didn't think they were very good. That's and then really BBU. Nice CBUM will slide into the same sub bracket as Toronto Gaming Epsilon. So, tell us about these two teams, Iceborne and BBUM. Okay, well, obviously I'm biased towards Iceborne, so I definitely okay. think we're going to be favorites 3 0 all the way to finals easily, right? But I will say though, I think VBU is sleeper, like really good, and it will be really hard for any team to face them. It looks like they're going to be facing, if Epsilon wins, that would be a banger matchup, to be honest. Epsilon versus VBU. Um, I don't think anyone wants to draw VBU in first round out of the third seeds, because these guys are really good. They've been playing yeah. together for a long time, too, so. I agree. I actually think uh, now that now that the bracket is shaken out a little bit, uh, if the the bracket's looking a little even, you know? Uh, yeah. Top side and bottom side. Like, last sophomore, we were like, oh, well, it looks like bot half is kind of, like, free. But um, this one's looking kind of balanced, uh, to be honest. So I'd like to see how it shakes out, especially when we get to the semifinals. But uh, any overall thoughts? Do you think of side of the bracket is weaker? Uh, I think it's fairly even. I think I would... Honestly, yeah, both sides are really even, actually. I think there will be more close games on the bottom side than the, the top side. Top side, it might be like, first round might have like a lot of 3-0s, but I don't know. I think bottom side is going to be closer. Top side is definitely going to be a quick one, I think. Yeah, and quick question. Uh, your team kind of like popped off when you guys drew uh, the same sub bracket as Ouroboros Gaming. Uh, do you feel like it's a free ride to semis for you, or...? Of course. We were talking about this last night, and this is probably our dream scenario, if we want to make it far. So... Okay. Pretty I mean, excited. it does mean... It probably does mean, like, a date with OMTC. Or yeah, that's... Yeah, we're gonna have to prep for that, I guess. It's gonna be tough. Okay, <laughs> okay. okay. Alright, so, group... Th I mean, the, the third seeds from each group... Uh, we have RPG Firefoxes, No Orc Frost, uh, Team Dusk and Shade, and TSS. All right. We can go ahead and spin. So this one does decide it all, so... Uh... Yeah, yeah. We don't we don't leak that information, though. I know, I know. <laughs> okay, okay. Glad you didn't say it on stream. Now. <laughs> so TSS will be sliding in, oh, dude, against Iceborne. That's... Because they cannot play against VGG, so... Iceborne it, is pogging so hard right yeah, now. Yeah, this is... We were just talking about this perfect matchup for our first and second round last night. I think, like, this is a free win, to be honest. They they changed their, like, best player last week or something. I don't think right. it should be a problem for us. Oh, that is that is just... <laughs> that You are just, like... You, you are pogging so hard right now, I can yeah. tell. Like, uh, so... That's good. That's good that you guys are chilling. But let's see how the rest of it shakes out here. Um, we have TDR drafted. And TDR will have to slot 
in against VGG. All right. Uh, I don't. I don't have much. I haven't watched their games enough to really have a good. Like I'm not too sure how good this team is, so mm -hmm. I don't have. I still favorite VGG just because of how good I think they are. But who knows? Uh, maybe TDR can uh, pop off. So I also want to point out to, to the people who've been following at home, uh, you can decide the rest of the matchups from here on out. Uh, OMTC's first round opponent is CB Rush. Ooh. Which is so good. Get that on stream, please. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're going to have to put that one on stream because that is an absolute banger. Uh, and then No Arc Frost being drawn into against Nameless Empire. Okay. Well, that's that's a free matchup for a... them. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Think I, 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 think, I think No Org is top three teams in the league for sure. Even though they got kind of clapped by OMT, I still think they're top three teams in the league. So they shouldn't have a problem. Okay. All right, we'll okay. get this update real quick. And then the last team is RPG Firefoxes, which will be sliding up against EBU Monster Mash, which is also probably a banger matchup. Uh... I think Firefoxes... Okay, here's my hot take. Firefoxes is the best team in Group 2. That's my hot take. Uh... Even though they're the third seed. Maybe? I... Personally, don't think they're that good, but if if we're comparing to group two, maybe probably they could be the best team from group two. Okay, I'm glad you agree with me. <laughs> oh, I missed something up here. One sec. Wait, hold on. What did you do? Okay, I got CB Rush in the wrong spot. Where did I put him? Or no, you put him right. Put CB Rush correctly. You just get we're getting ahead of yourself. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, sure. Well, I mean, we already know where everything. they're going. You right. can just say them, so it's fine. Right, right. Uh, okay, yep, everything's right. So, obviously, like I said, the first, fourth seed will be the sec from group two, uh, sliding into CB Rush under OMTC. Uh, that's going to be a banger matchup. Acid versus Rutledge, again. Yep. Uh, no, one, no one's going to miss that one. And uh, I expect Banter Chat to be absolutely lit right after that match. So, that'll be fun. Uh, Going up against Ouroboros Gaming, we have Rodham Crowstorm. Ooh. So that's a team that's been bouncing back. Uh, kind of kind of impressive finish to the season um, in Group 1. I, 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 I think we were talking about Ouroboros being the worst first seed. Uh, yep. RMC is not the best fourth seed, but they're definitely a team that could beat them, in my opinion. So... Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see how that uh, shakes out. <laughs> People are just <laughs> flaming Rutledge in the chat right now. <laughs> uh, what do you What are you thinking? Uh, I think Rut M could definitely. I still favor probably Ouroboros over Rot M, but it's gonna be a close series. I think it depends on if Ouroboros players pop off because I know their ADC is like topping the stats like in almost everything so who knows it, it's gonna be a close series for sure okay okay um uh, yes let me know when you get that up yeah yeah. yeah 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 we're good oh you want me to oh, okay not... yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, i'm the next one my bad okay okay uh against uh dorado gaming sigma they'll be going up against absolute zero which is the best fourth seed in my opinion yeah uh, I, so like what people were like what what do you mean rmc is not the best fourth seed well it's because uh the group four teams are all kind of like kind of stacked in my opinion outside of team shadow specters and team shadow specters used to be ca like stacked until they <laughs> dropped their best player so um <laughs> uh yeah i think i think dorado gaming sigma will win but uh yeah i think that'll be a that'll be a, a good matchup yeah i absolutely agree i think absolute zero has the chance to take down sigma for sure 
Yeah. Is it best of fives, by the way? First it is best of fives, yeah. Okay. So we just need, like, so the tactic is to just tilt the Dorado gaming players. <laughs> so, like, uh, like after two games, I'm sure you can get them a little tilted. And then, like, if you win one of those, oh, dude, it might, be, it might just be done at that point. <laughs> yep. Uh, and then uh, the last uh, matchup, Dorado Gaming Epsilon going up against Rodham Darkwind, uh, a team that kind of, you know, slid in there after what happened with the comp rolling. Uh, but no slouch. And I don't know what you think, but they didn't seem like a slouch to me. Finishing at 5-2. and two. Uh, Ember, the only team to beat Owen T. Kronos. That, that is true. <laughs> I, I think it honestly depends on if Epsilon mental booms or not. Like, I think, or if, like, something unfortunate happens to their players in real life. But I'd still... Epsilon can easily 3-0 Darkwind, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so now that we've drawn out, like, all of the groups, you know, uh, I'm just double-checking that we have one from each group in each sub-bracket here. Um... Uh, we should be good to go. Uh, who's got the easiest path to semifinals, and why is it Iceborne Legends? Uh, well, one, because we are in the top three teams, obviously. Right? Okay, so okay. we are a top team, and I think we definitely have the easiest path out of all the teams. I mean, I guess OMT kind of has a fairly easy path, too, because of how good they are. Mm -hmm. Uh... Yeah, I don't think any other teams... Like, I think the bottom side has a lot of close matches, and it's for sure going to be exciting to watch who wins that side of okay. the bracket. All right. I asked JC the same question, so I'll ask you. Obviously, you'll predict your team to go to finals. Right. Who are you playing every step of the way? Uh, I think quarterfinals, we will probably be playing Ouroboros because of... I think I think they're good enough to beat Rod M, but it shouldn't be. Uh, it, it's gonna be a close series, but I, I still predict Ouroboros in quarters. In semis, obviously we're gonna be facing OMT, and in finals, um, for me it's either gonna be No Org, Epsilon, or Monster Mash. I do give the edge to No Org because we have played against them and I kind of know how good they are. But I definitely think Epsilon or VBU, Mat VBU Monster Mash has a chance of beating them. Okay. Okay. I do want to point out that we have three orgs that have two teams in, in playoffs. Uh, we have T Team Dusk and Shade and Team Shadow Speckers both on the same side of the bracket. Dorado Gaming Sigma, Dorado Gaming Epsilon both on the same side of the bracket. But Rodham are on the opposite sides of the bracket. So the only civil war we could possibly have in the finals is between Rodham. Uh, everything else would have to ha have to happen in the semifinals. Um, I think, I, yeah, and just so you're aware, yes, Rodham paid us off to do that. Uh, you guys, if you paid me, you guys lost the bidding war. I'm sorry. It's just how it works. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think if I was going to do a quick rundown of who's making finals, it's OMT Kronos and Dorado Gaming Sigma. I'm sorry. Like, I just can't see. <laughs> I just, I think Dorado Gaming Sigma has a really tough road. Like, I think, I think drawing Absolute Zero in the first round was rough. I think drawing Norg Frost in the second round is rough. I think drawing Epsilon in the third round is rough. And then drawing Kronos in the final round is super rough. Like, that is a rough finals path. But I still don't see how they don't lose. Like, I just don't see how they lose, like, to be honest. Mm. Uh, I, I, they've just been dominant all season. And, you know, we called everybody's been calling it a cupcake group. But, uh, you know, I, I don't know, man. They, they just kind of keep winning. So, like... I don't know. Like, what, what do you think, PBS? Who do you got? Uh, probably. I'm gonna go Iceborne versus Norg Frost finals. <laughs> that's my Iceborne guess. Iceborne versus Norg Frost. Yes. So that's gonna be a cold finals, dude. It is. It is. It's freezing almost. <laughs> it's not absolute zero, but it's freezing. Okay, dude. 
<laughs> All right. Um, any final comments before we like just kind of end the show? You know, we hit one hour. Pretty pog. Perfect. We had 69, 69 viewers. Very That's pog. perfect. Um, any uh, any final statements? Uh, uh other than Division Three is probably all gonna make it to semis. Maybe not Rot M, but you know, No Org, us, and OMT are all gonna make it to semis. I think there's nothing else for me to say. Okay. All right. Uh, I, I feel like if you're going to say that much, you might as well just full commit. Like, just say Rodham's going to make semis. Yeah, Rod, like... Rod M is going to make finals. They're going to they're gonna upset VBU and Epsilon. Just can say it's, it? a all group, it's a group three semifinals. Yep. Like, can I, can I give a bold prediction real quick before we go? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. No Dorado team is going to make quarterfinals. What? Quarterfinals? No. They're, they're both out first round. <laughs> Couldn't you say semifinals or something? That nope. would have been like nope. so oh much more. They're both out first round. <laughs> um, <laughs> Darkwind and oh. Absolute Zero are gonna kick them out. I see. I see. Good, good job, PBS. You could the chat interaction. I liked it. Dude. Of course, of course. It was for our six and a half years. Okay. okay, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna say that because I'm not crazy. But <laughs> we'll see. Uh, we'll see. I, I think if you had said like no Dorado teams make semifinals, I think that would have been a fair statement because their quarterfinal matchups are gonna be super hard. I did say bold, uh, so uh... yeah, yeah, it got really, really bold though. I think even saying none of them make semifinals is bold. <clears throat> and, uh, it just kind of went a little crazy. Bro. I'll, I'll, I'll leak my predictions. Uh, CB Rush three two OMT Chronos. Chronos. Oh god. Okay, dude. <laughs> All right, uh, we, we need to we need to end this before PBS just completely <laughs> something stupid, dude. Uh, anyway, uh, have a good night, everyone. Thanks for coming out. It was fun, fun show. Uh, the brackets are very pog. Um, uh, go ahead and uh, Kenrick, can you go ahead and tell E Girl Bender to schedule with Rutledge so we can get that on stream, and then uh, everything else. We're we're like, uh, thanks for coming out. It's fun. Uh. Yeah, thanks for doing this, PVS. Uh, yep. No, no PVS wheel this time. It was, it was surprising. Nope. All right, uh, uh, actually went very smooth. For any orgs or teams that want the images, uh, they are on our Twitter. I just put it in the chat. Uh, feel free to follow us while you're there. Uh, wink, wink. Uh, yeah. Also, if you're looking for logos, because people are hitting me up in my DMs about logos, we have a logos channel. It's in the League of Legends section. Uh, just set the bottom. Find it yourself. It's got all the logos. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna send them to you. So, uh, good luck to everyone. Should be a banger. And uh, thanks for coming out. Bye. Bye. Friend.